I have dedicated my life to finding the building blocks of the universe. Atoms, protons, electrons, Higgs bosons. I have found them all. I even saw quarks with the naked eye. But recently I found a shocking truth. Something that will change the fabric of time and space itself. I found a new building block. The fractal noise effect. You have to hear my story before they find me and try to silence me. It started when I was studying a sun from another galaxy. At first it looked normal. Normal, but then I started to notice these fractal-like patterns. So with my Adobe After Effects mainframe, I started to dig some more. And my suspicions were right. From the textures of the sun to the animations, everything was created with one single element. The basic fractal noise effect. This effect is nothing more than just a noise generator with a bunch of options. And that noise pattern can be used to create a bazillion different things. But can you prove it? For instance, you have multiple fractal types, each one giving you a different style. String theory is an here as well. But you also have different noise types, again giving you much more styling options. Now besides that, I also found multiple properties to adjust the fractal even more, like the contrast and brightness, which can be used to fine-tune the fractal strength. And with the transform property, you can alter the scale, the rotation, offsets. You can even adjust the horizontal and vertical scale separately. Then with the subsettings, you can adjust the inner fractal settings, giving the possibility to make every fractal more unique. And the complexity controls the detail. Finally, the the evolution can provide the fractal noise with a random motion when animated. So with all of this knowledge, I could determine that the fractal noise was actually mimicking the entire sun, solar flares, and everything else. Now, of course, the sun was shaped by the CC sphere effect, just increase the radius. And finish it off with a tritone effect, make sure to set the right colors here. A vector blur effect to smoosh it all together, a rough and edges effect to create the solar flares, and to top it off, the glow effect, and that's the building block of light by Way. So we can't deny that the fractal noise effect is the building block of the sun. And with my suspicion fueled, I knew that there has to be more which was built using the fractal noise. Now here's a secret that the military does not- Damn it! They're on to me! I gotta go! Now wait, you guys have to know about this. Let me just hack into the mainframe and stop this attack. There we go. That gives me a few more minutes to tell you the next secret. By luck, I found military footage of a new energy technology in outer space. And I started digging with the Adobe mainframe again, and indeed, a fractal noise. This time it was set to blocks, and the blend mode of this layer to screen, so that we can see through the fractals. And again, they try to cover up their traces by stacking other effects on top, like the CC cylinder to bend the energy and make it spin around its source. Now you do have to duplicate your layer and set one cylinder to outside and the other two insights. You can then place a layer in between, which will now seem to be inside of that cylinder. I found the turbulent displace effect from which the evolution property was animated, and that mimics the heat coming from the energy. Again, a rough and edges to make the edge more organic, the vector blur, which makes everything flow together, and finally, a glow effect. Now, they use something special here, an optical glow and the shine effect. This is something from another universe. They call it Red Giant. I'll leave a link to it below if you want to explore that, they will do anything to cover their tracks. Now, to keep researching the government secrets, I need funds. Luckily, I can use Wirestock for that, the sponsor of today's video. Wirestock is the easiest way to sell photos, vectors, and videos online, meaning that you can sell your own stock clips, motion design assets, or photos, whatever you create. Now, how does it work, you wonder? Just upload all of your work to Wirestock through the easy submission, and they do all the rest. They give high-quality keywording and captions. Next, they distribute them for sale on all the major marketplaces, like Shutterstock, Adobe Stock, Pond5, and many more. After submitting your content, all the information and sales can be seen on your personal portfolio and dashboard. That combines everything into one single account. Now, you don't need to invest up front to sell on Wirestock. They only charge 15% of the paid royalties when you sell something. Thus, you have no excuse not to start selling today. So, start creating, filming, or maybe create some stock clips with the fractal noise effect and make some money with Wirestock. Sign up for free right now with the link in the description down below. Now, I was able to get so much money for my research that I was even able to research the clouds in the sky, which, you guessed it, are fake. You just have to tweak a simple fractal noise effect to look like clouds. Then if you set the blend mode to screen, you can see it as clouds as it reveals the background. Then make the cloud layer 3D and rotate it to match the perspective of the environment. So who knows, maybe we are living in a simulation. You see, this here is where- Sir? Damn it, they're onto me! Sir? 
I'm here to talk about our Adobe After Effects course for beginners. It's highly rated, one of the best courses on the internet, and I can give your viewers 50% discount, but only to the first 30 people who use the discount code FIRST upon checkout. All right, you want to have that, sir? That is a pretty good deal. Check it out, guys. Now, I'm not gonna open the door because who knows, maybe that is the government dressed up as a salesman. I need to tell you guys one more thing. Never trust atmospheric smoke. You think it's a practical effect or a stock clip? Well, you are wrong. You fine-tune the fractal noise properties to make it look like smoke. Animating the evolution will add some motion to it. Important here is to set the blending mode again to hard light and decrease the opacity. Now duplicate that fog layer and change the fractal a little bit so that it seems like a different cloud or smoke. You can mask out objects in your background clip and place those in between two fog layers which creates even more depth. I don't know what to believe anymore. Sir, I'm coming in. I don't know inside. Is that my fractal noise portal gun? They're never gonna catch me. <laughs> now, if you want to learn how to create your own Rick and Morty portal, check out the video here on my right. All right, gotta go. Stay creative, guys. Uh, sir, do you want your 50% discount now on the Adobe After Effects course? Or not. I mean, just let me know, please. Where are you?